and he had this big excuse about how he like tore his uh he tore his like quad as well as had like a brutal hernia when he was uh you know at wrestlemania 29 i believe in 2013 but if you look at him pre-2013 his abs never looked like different than this so you know this is just an example of like kyle's abs look better than this and he's you know how many yeah. like 80 pounds less muscle in the rock or something yep. you know I, I was I was like we're gonna we're gonna take this thing until I look like a fucking superhero. Uh, I was I was like he thinks that like in you know eight months a year or something like that like I'm gonna be like super super lean like like and I remember like showing um like like the the uh, the Adonis lines like my my dad didn't know what Adonis lines were and he was just like what is this what is this thing you got going on right here and I was <laughs> like. That's what you look like when you have no fat left on your fucking body anymore. It's a cum gutter, and I'm killing it on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> all the all the gay guys blowing loads on me. No cleanup. They yeah, love it. Just, they, they just slide right away. In the sheets. Yeah. yeah, right in the sheets. It's uh, yeah. The Adonis lines are sick. Uh, and I think that some parts of like my physique there are just like, and, and correct me or help me here, Derek. But like, I think they, I think genetically, like, I don't think everybody's abs are. I think my abs are pretty symmetrical. And yeah, I was yeah. pretty happy with that. Yeah, you got lucky, dude. Yeah, you never know until you actually get shredded, like what you're working with, which is like, it's just it's a surprise. You never find, you find out. And it's like, oh, like, good for me. You know? Are most people's not symmetrical? Uh, it depends. Like, it, it varies wildly. Like, with The Rock, I'm actually about to put out a video on his, like, it's weird how this was picked up as a top story, but I have no idea if I had any influence on people Googling this term, but I did a video on why his abs are like, not good like he has even though he he's jacked he's like 270 plus lean he got shredded for his last role his abs are essentially non-existent now it's not to say his physique isn't ridiculously impressive and he's like you know one of the most jacked movie stars on the planet he's absolutely you know killing it but no matter what he does his abs will never look even as good as 165 pound zach efron from baywatch like when they stand next to each other whose abs look better Zach Efron, even though he's well, nobody's abs look as good as Zach. Zach looks so fucking good in that movie. They're, they're absurd. They're absurd. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's like, but ultimately, it's just like you can't do anything about your muscle insertions, really. You can only just build off of what you have. So with The Rock, for example, he it was kind of interesting because he did an interview and they were doing like the, the most Googled terms or something like The Rock, you know, fill in the blank, whatever Google pops up with. And it was like, it was like, what's wrong with the rocks abs? It's like one of the most Googled terms. <laughs> and he, he was like, what a fucked up question. And I was like, I was like, it's a pretty prominent, you know, like aberration from his, like the rest of his structure, like everything's so perfect. And then it's like, his abs are just like non-existent. I think it's a reasonable question. And he had this big excuse about how he like tore his, uh, he tore his like quad as well as had like a brutal hernia when he was, uh, you know, at WrestleMania 29, I believe in 2013. But if you look at him pre 2013, his abs never looked like different than this. So, you know, this is just an example of like Kyle's abs look better than this. And he's, you know, how many, yeah. like 80 pounds less muscle in the rock or something, yep. you know? So yeah, I think uh, Kyle got lucky in that regard. Obviously everyone has their genetic shortcomings. Like Kyle's chest, obviously, you know, needs some work as yep, does mine, sure. you know? <laughs> Yeah, I was and, and like I, I was I was like, maybe maybe I'm using Derek's workout program because we both have to <laughs> <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I tell everybody this is my way of like shitting on you a little. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Derek's got a weak chest and yeah. I've got one, too. And and like, but they're like your shoulders, though. I'm like, I know my delts are really big. Derek's delts are really big. I think I'm just using his workout program. We're going to add some flat bench in here. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> that's probably it. Yeah, that's probably it. Derek's that's just it. making this that's up. Yeah, he could make it up. He'd be like, well, the problem there is the flobagloban is, is coming up. Yeah. The selenium yeah, it's just to titrate it up. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's just a, I think it's just a genetic shortcoming of mine with the chest. And it is something like the last um, like three months or for whatever it is, like, I've been trying to focus more on building my chest. Like um, I added like like an extra chest exercise on push days, like 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 one extra thing, like um, like just add like some flat bench dumbbell stuff uh, on one day, and added some uh, uh, some some cable stuff. And I don't know. I and I uh, actually, actually the pec deck. Uh, that's I've yeah. been like really being able being able to get a connect like a 
mind muscle connection with the pec deck a lot more than some other stuff so hopefully I and obviously next something. when you do the next bulk if we work together the next gain gaining muscle phase you know a lot of your volume will be allocated more towards chest than your like genetically superior body parts to then kind of like bring them up to where everything else is at kind of thing so yeah like if you have a genetic shortcoming you know you have a certain weekly amount of volume you can tolerate in the gym and you would allocate it accordingly based on like he had no foundation to even see what he was working with before this transformation so now that he's like gotten lean he's built some muscle we can actually see like okay where's the shortcomings now and then build off of that and you know make the changes accordingly but it's like before that you have no fucking idea what's going on you're just like a skinny fat you know disaster so you gotta like build up the infrastructure and then get peeled and then you figure it out